Yo, good early evening. Hello, man. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. The subs are going to run out soon, boys. Use the emotes while you still can. <laughs> Has it really been that long? Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have like a huge amount of time to stream. Would have been cool to stream more while we had uh, all the subs, but oh well. It is what it is. But yeah, welcome back. I actually, I might do some more um, earlier streams in the future as well, by the way. Because there are some days where I just have time, but it's earlier in the day. So it would be nice to do some of the streams a bit earlier. I'm sure it helps a lot of you, actually, because a lot of you do seem to be European, generally. All right. Big update though, before I start, right, I think we are on the cusp of fixing quite a big problem with Civ 5 that I think, I'm guessing, has been there for like the entire time, right? So, this was noticed by Recursive, basically, been looking at it for like the last day or two. Um, so, say if I want to do a deal, right, they're fucking sanctioned. <laughs> Now, this is how you would normally expect a deal to go, right? We, well, normally you kind of think it's going to be the other way around. Like, you'd be like, oh, I want your amber. Okay. He wants 633 gold for it. Well, we could give him some shit, uh, which probably makes the most sense here. Or we could give him money and uh, until the deal value is like zero, basically, because we don't want to give him more than he's asking for. So that's how like we would trade. Now, this is how the AI is actually trade with each other. Okay, I would like some amber. Uh, that's worth about. I mean, I think that's worth about three gold per turn to me. And then they just do the deal is done so they basically get to decide what the other person like wants so they can always trade with each other at whatever rate that they think is like okay <laughs> so i feel like that's part of the reason why they always have these defensive packs because one of them just suggests it and says oh I reckon we should have a defensive pact because that's valuable to me and the other one just has to accept it <laughs> fucking ridiculous but the deal like the way it's done is just so complicated that it was not like obvious that that's what was going on but I'm pretty sure it is basically so hopefully by the time there's a new patch we'll have actually been able to sort that out and do a better system but yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it could be why people become vassals as well, yeah. That's a good point. Because that, that'll be part of it. Yo, mate, as well, I noticed you're, uh, you're a tier 3 sub, apparently. It was off stream, so... I wasn't here to say, but cheers, man. We'll have to make some new emotes for you. You get, like, exclusive emotes for being a tier 3, but... You'll have to give me some ideas, because I used all my ideas on the ones I already did. Alright. I mean, we should just be able to do what they do and just say, oh, this is worth 200, right? Oh, we're chucking an embassy as well. We'll get some more. Cool. <laughs> Golden Ram. <laughs> I didn't know the Ram one was going to be so popular. <laughs> I guess it is the most, like, obvious emotion of all of them. Okay, well, yeah, we're doing this war, right? I think we have it all set up. I think we're ready to go. Uh, I don't know if there was something I was meant to do in between the episodes, but I haven't looked at this game since last stream, so hopefully it's all good. 
one turn on that. Hopefully if it, it succeeds. Yeah, let's get rid of this stupid 135 gold deal. What is so... Why does everyone hate uh, Ram so much? Like, what is it that he does that's so bad? Obviously, he does some, like, Congress stuff. But I don't know that any of it was, like, that egregious. That I felt like I really hated him. Okay. So... 41 damage for these guys. Could use one of them over here. Is it going to be difficult to use them all? Uh, I don't know if that guy will be able to get in range this turn. How far can we move along? Where is one, two, three, four, five? I think, yeah, we can only move five. <laughs> it's literally just personal. <laughs> you just don't like him. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, let's do this. I mean, we don't even want to take it, do we? But... We should start. I assume we can kill this guy quite easily. Right, I guess he's quite like expansive and he does all the a the uh, World Congress stuff as well. Just an annoying dude. Alright, um... I guess, yeah, this guy can shoot him. We'll kill him with the city and the boat. This guy we should get an upgrade on. And then we'll upgrade all the musketmen as well. Oh yeah, we do get gold for killing units as well. We do need money. It's kind of one of the things that we really need, actually. Uh, I mean, I don't know why I feel like I'm doing something wrong if I attack, but... I guess we should just go. So, attack. If I pillage, I won't be able to actually get out properly. We are going to need to, like, retreat quite far because we want to do a lot of attacks this turn. This guy is going to get stuck when he attacks. So let's do the five movement guys first. I guess the main thing in VP is that he's just like one of the weakest leaders. So even if he tries to be a dick, he's just like relevant this guy's only got one attack okay it'll still be good to get the city low if we get it low then they'll kind of like they won't bother defending it um, makes our life a bit easier so okay let's use you How many more dudes have we got then? There's this guy. I mean, I don't really want to lose any units, but...
Where are we gonna heal as well? We'll be this one. Uh, just everything is in the way. Okay, let's sort this guy out as well. I'm guessing we're not. I do need money to buy like any military academies I can. Because it would be cool to get some more units because we're going to conquer Aretium soon. So we're about to get a big like uh, experience bonus. I guess I can just buy units here. I tell you what, we won't finish, we won't continue building this yet. Alright, it's got nothing else to build. Fine. It was two turns anyway. Great. Really? So yeah, we're not going to have that much money. I would like to get this guy, I guess. We'll leave that guy alive, but on very low HP. Nice. I guess I can leave this guy in there because he doesn't really. Matter so much. 16. Um. Like I said, I really shouldn't lose units on this. It's not worth it. I don't really want to pillage the horses. <laughs> I want to keep them. Alright, what we will do... Is we will just do that. Now we're just going to heal everyone. Um, okay, so like around this area we'll heal people. What the fuck is this guy doing here? Yeah, go on, we'll get him some experience as well. Nice. And now for you, sir. Yeah, we aren't going to have enough money for uh, Gatling guns right now. Don't mind having this guy in here.
Okay. Um, yep, go on, mate. We'll make sure we pillage that. Now, are we doing stuff over here? I tell you what, we'll have this guy give a flanking bonus, I guess. Actually, this is a desert. I can't really attack there because I can't get out again. All right, fuck it. We shall chill there. Um, yeah, I mean, we can have dudes like in here. I don't really want to put them on the coast because they could have a load of frigates over there. That's a decent front line though. You go there. Got this guy as well. Um, ah, he should probably go here. Yeah, I mean, perhaps we can go forward next turn. Do have these guys as well. Well, we should shoot with them at least. Alright, uh, I'm happy with all that. Yeah, I mean, we could definitely have it taken by next turn. Should I actually put someone there? Potentially not. Um... Like, he'll get shot at over there as well. This guy can tank everything, he's only level 2 or whatever anyway. I think I need this guy for down here somewhere. Or was it over here? Yeah, I need to convert Budapest. I still need to do conversion stuff down there as well. I can't remember exactly what I need to do. Uh, can we chill in here? They don't have any ranged weapons, so they can't actually do that much. More dudes, that's what we need. This is a dude that we need though.
this guy as well. Can we move these guys? <laughs> Not too anyway good. I mean, just depends where I actually want to heal people. Good shit. Do need a garrison in Jerusalem. Although if we lost it, <laughs> we could actually use that other founder belief for a bit. Be kind of funny. All right, I've done this then. Jesus. So I assume that I need to convert here now. One at a time, boys. Five, so one other missionary could do it. Let's go. And all right, we've basically done everything here. That guy's handling that. Yeah, we'll repair some shit. Don't need this guy down here. Uh, I mean, do I have the Moscow and Pagodas here? Okay, well we need one here then as well. Fair enough. Coal is done. Don't have money to buy tiles, man. Let's build some forts, I guess. Alright, yeah, hopefully Sweden will help us out here. When can I buy a great person as well? So what, we're buying a great scientist. We're getting uh, hopefully 3k science from this. Plus we should get a good amount for conquering it as well. Um, yeah, this should be good. Golden Age next turn as well. Pretty nice. I think I'd... Uh, yeah. Well, Golden Age will increase science a bit, but not spectacularly, I guess. Make me go away. Oh, right, we were at war anyway. <laughs> Makes sense. Nice. All good. All good. Even got some XP on this guy. I'm getting shot. Ooh, we got finished already. Nice. Okay. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I thought it was going to be like another turn. Like it was going to go zero and then...
All right, I think I got another fucking quest to spy on Arabia. We're already doing it anyway. Yo, mate. How's it going? Another episode indeed. This one should have some serious conquering in it. Although it's going to take us a while, because uh, just everything takes a while at this point. When you got big armies and stuff. Don't really know what to do with my spies. I mean, I feel like just trying to use them in like some mid-level cities to get science. I don't know exactly how the science you get is calculated. I mean, we could try and We could get one set up in Arabia now, and then like, do fucking, uh, potentially kill the garrison or whatever. Yeah man, it should do. Let's see. It's kind of annoying they built that boat, because now they have a garrison. Can use this guy, he doesn't do that much. I think we got enough with just the field guns, right? Although we don't have near as many lancers because we used a lot of them. And they're damaged now. Alright, let's see. Eight. Um. Gonna do it. Like this. And he'll do on that, we'll uh, run around that square hopefully. Uh, I guess we'll use this guy. Might need every bit of damage. Okay. Alright, these guys, not long range. Not have that guy there, I guess. Um, I mean, it shouldn't make a big difference. It should, the main difference I think it will make is that. It should make them a lot less, like, friendly with one another. Because I feel like that's part of the reason why they were, like, such good mates all the time. Is that, like, you get the bonus for trading with people. So if they're constantly, like, trading with each other, then they're always having that bonus. And the defensive packs, obviously. I have enough for this. Uh, I should do. Might have to use every last do that we have though.
use both of those. I mean, I do want to get it this turn. I could use this guy. He should, I mean, he should be ridiculously tanky, right? Like 55 combat strength. Could even use this guy to take the city. Twenty nine, fifty, seventy five. We're getting there. Uh, just like one more. This guy can't reach. All right, I'm going to use you. I'm going to use you. could just use this. I, I doubt I'm going to attack him anyway. Uh, Alright. Let's do it like this. Boom. All right. Should have been some good yields there. Yeah, one and a half K science and culture. Strategic monopoly on horses. That's plus 10% attacks. But yeah, I feel like whenever there's like a bug on something, you got to just fix it and then like deal with the consequences after. You can't just be like, oh, this is dumb, but we'll keep it because like... Maybe it will be worse if we get rid of it, but yeah, I feel like you gotta just figure out another way of like nerf of buffing them or whatever if it is causing them problems. Okay, I should be able to take that guy easily. Need some road in here just to help out. Okay. Can attack from this side as well. And yeah, I mean, we've got plenty of dudes. You can put in some attacks there. Really? That ain't a place to be standing. It's fucking annoying, actually. Uh... Uh, this doesn't... Oh, I have to do it like this, I think. Alright, so... You are stuck there. You're going there. 
This guy could have shot there, but nah. Alright, we'll wait until next turn, I guess, to move everyone forward, like, properly. Yeah, let's not put dudes on the coast there that can get attacked everywhere. This will have to do, I think. We are going to struggle with these frigates. Uh, with the Gatling guns, they will uh, be a bit better. But, yeah. Until then. It is a struggle. Yeah, let's do forts. This guy's really annoying me. Come down here. Ooh. Let's get some shock three blitz three guys. How about that? That's what we want, isn't it? Uh, we've already got Kurt Moss and Synagogues here. So we can just send these back to Eastern Orthodoxy. Now. Confucian. I don't have Confucian here. So let's try and do that. Should be doable. Then Confucian here. Judaism as well we want to send down. Okay, we're a little bit close on happiness now as well. So, what are you going to build me here? <laughs> I mean, I suppose the cat of Rex. We'll use the faith to buy uh, field guns from the other place before we get there. Uh, yeah. Many, many cataphracts. Does anything give like percentage bonuses to science? That's what we really need in this city. I don't think there is anything, is there? We'll go for, I guess, like university, you get bonus when you grow, don't you? Nice. Pretty decent city there. Do the forts. Ah, this guy. Let's go, bro. Did want to buy that. Perfect. Could even get this guy upgraded into a uh, cruiser.
I feel like we'll get this guy because he'll do he'll do a lot more damage to the city then. And let's try and kill this idiot. Then we can land this guy there. And he can get one shot by the fusilier in there. Hey, I mean, like I said, not easy because of the boats. We shall have to make some more boats of our own around here. Ah, perfect. I need you up here. You're getting over there. More coal done. Nice. So we're building forts, I mean, this makes sense for a fort here. And delegates, yes, we don't have so many of them. Well, we want Cassus Belly, that's for damn sure. Don't care about the others, let's go. Uh, yeah, we can annex this one. Pretty big city, innit? We'll do that next turn. We are a bit low on the happiness right now. Yeah, seeing is actually quite useful, innit? Alright. Cool, and make sure we remember to buy this uh, great scientist. I suppose I'll do it here, it'll be a bit safe. Well, no, I should do it up here. Because we get culture when we buy stuff, so we want the borders to grow up here. We could get another 10% combat bonus as well. Next policy. We'll think about it. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll try and go for this city next. It's going to be much easier than the other ones. Although still difficult. Open borders. Seems kind of pointless. Do you know what? I really should check the victory progress. Because <laughs> even though we're doing okay, Assyria is doing really, really okay. I didn't mean to do that at the start of the episode, but... Yeah, they must be pretty pissed. A lot of money when you conquer a city. I kind of feel like just having this is better. 
like just get the bonus 10% bonus combat strength we're about to have land ships so yeah let's fucking go Okay, kill this idiot, please. This guy's got splash. Dosh. Dosh. Alright. I mean, he should be able to tank like one hit, right? <laughs> Otherwise, that's a bit ridiculous. Heal yourself, Bosh. Ah, now we can surround the city, actually. Ah, oh, shit, I should have done that. All right, we'll do that next turn. Oh, we already have. Okay. Cool. Well, did that happen as soon as we put that field gun there then? Because it's probably a bit bullshit if that's what happened. Uh, I want to upgrade, but then... Oh, yeah, we can attack then. Cool. Alright, boats. It's all about the boats. As many boats as we can before we take Aretium. As many cataphracts as well. Can you build me a boat? Yes, you can. Nice. Alright, happiness has suddenly got very, very questionable, so. We can buy resources still, so I guess I shouldn't worry too much. I do need to Inquisitor this. Okay, fine. It's okay. So I'm thinking that well we should use these guys on these guys bring all of these guys down here once they're done healing and stuff and we can even get these guys in position as well Let's see what the scout can see, actually. Okay, uh, some musketmen, some fusiliers. But actually not like that many units. Part of me really just wants to chill. <laughs> Wait for combustion so that we don't lose any of our guys. Yeah, I mean, three turns, man. Not a long time. Well, 
Like, we could just clean up this area and then shoot over here. With the range field guns. Two of them at least. Although we need to actually see the city. Um... There's actually only one frigate there. This guy doesn't have range. Yeah, go on, mate. You can stay there. Maybe we frontline with the Gatling guns, actually, for now. They're actually our strongest unit. Especially, like, they'll take range shots. Very, very well. Thing is, even once we get the oil, like, how much oil are we actually going to have that we can use? It's not really that much, so in that sense, trying to move forward might be a better idea. Uh, I'm going to need that square. Let's get Gatling guns. Let's shoot what we can here.
I mean, fuck it. If he dies, it actually doesn't matter. He's low level anyway. We can replace him, like, instantly. Yeah, we can get this guy in position to attack as well. Go on, mate. Um, yeah, I don't care about the Fusiliers either. Alright, let's do a bit of a swap around then. We'll have these guys up here. I think being there is fine. All right, cool, 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 cool. Basically how we're going to decide who lives and dies this game. Who is high level shall live. Hopefully. Um... I think I'm going to upgrade him. I'm sure we can use the money on other stuff. What we will, we'll just Inquisitor these places back. We'll do one city at a time though. We'll Inquisitor them back to... Um, Eastern Orthodoxy, so there'll be no Jew Jewish people, and then that means we'll get more syncretism bonus here. I suppose I could actually make a cruiser here. We can make corvettes in the other cities because they'll be quicker. Nice. <laughs> More fucking dudes. Let's go, bro. We should collect all of these towns and villages and stuff, so let's send it from Tarsus. Maybe we'll use this guy, um... On some oil. We do have a lot of great generals, so don't necessarily need all of them. And like, there's nowhere to great general really anymore. Until we get Laban's realm, 
but that is a while off. Alright, I did say I was going to check out the victory condition, so what is up with Assyria? Okay, we cool, we cool. Still a long way off. Arabia, a little better, but still struggling. Obviously, we're not doing too good. That got through as well, very cool. What was that last turn? Nice. All right, um, yep, let's go. 